Alright, that was a bit late on the clicker there, but hello everybody, this is me, Fall Night 362 with another episode of Small Talk, a new series I'm working on. Now, this footage you are seeing is Call of Duty 2, another old Call of Duty game, and I'm and the, hor the footage is horrible. It's about the same length as the other one, if not a second shorter, so that's the footage showing. Call of Duty 2, made by Infinity Ward and Activision, not me. Kind of beats having to say it in the description, too, because it saves me the typing. Now, I played this game on mute, but it still showed the sound in the recording, so... That happens. Now, some things I wanted to talk about. Um, the first two days of school, back at Howard... I don't know, Howard High. And yes, I'm not afraid to say that in uh, YouTube. Howard High. I uh, don't directly live in Howard County, but I'm close enough, I guess. I'm not saying exactly where I live for obvious reasons, but anyways. It seems like a lot has changed, but the first day of school is just the first day of school. It's basically a repeat for me. And... It seems like the only thing the teachers are trying to do is get their content out faster and stuff like that, because there is a deadline. It's only a few months until June. So, plus, they won't shut up though the fact that this is the most important year of our lives, and um, to make matters worse, there's a lot of graduation requirements. But, no pressure, right? Wrong plenty of pressure, because they won't shut up about it. That's what I was saying earlier. Now, I know I should be thankful that they're providing this education, oh, this, so, oh, this gracious education that we are um, so grateful to have, but personally, I came into Junior Year because I was excited that I finally get to pick classes that I want to do. And in senior year, I'll be excited for two reasons. One, I'll be leaving out of here in a year after that. And two, I'll be able to pick more classes that I want to take. Well, minus math, because apparently that's a four-year thing. Because of colleges, you know. In the land of Mary's, some call it, most colleges require that you take math for four years in high school. But for some reason, it's a... Th three-year requirement in the high school itself, so that's kind of um, stupid logic there. But, deal. But, sorry, I was doing the top one. Yeah, th this is just me trying out two new things. I'm trying shotgun. This dude wobbles me on the head for being stupid enough to hold a sniper. I decided to go back to my Oh, actually, I picked the Uber. I forgot to switch to that in this game. So you know how I do things with this. I usually talk about topic that I'm talking about, which is random stuff that I like to spurt out of my mouth on a daily basis. And just the game footage in general, how I think about it, how, how much I suck throughout the gameplay and why, therefore. It's been years since I played either of these Call of Duties, Call of Duty 3 and Call of Duty 2, so I suck majorly. And to make matters worse, I decided to play this game mute. <laughs> and that was a horrible idea, because I couldn't hear the sounds. Alright, some good popcorn. But... Yeah. Sorry about that long rant about school. Um, teachers are good, pretty nice. That's all that some of the staff have going for them. But then you get those snarky, sarcastic ones that are fun to talk to, I guess. There's some, and then there's the rarely seen Master of Puns. It's surprising that these... It really is surprising that you don't see a lot of teachers willing to incorporate puns in the lesson. But my English teacher apparently does that now. Puns. And I watch Manly Badass Hero, so I know puns, and I didn't cuss, that's the name of his channel. I think I am allowed to say that, so... Besides, it's not really a cuss word if it's the name of his channel, so whatever. 
Oh, whoop de doo 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 And, um, yeah, I'm gonna talk about the reason why I did small talk. I did small talk because I don't have to worry about the matching up the audio and the video as it happened when I, because I, I usually use Audacity and I record. Give you guys live commentary. But with this, I can talk um, about any subject and it's pre recorded, anyways, so. It's not a big deal. And I don't totally have to worry about this um, syncing up with the audio, like I'm talking about the game and stuff like that. If I notice it, I usually catch it, so it won't be such a big deal. So that's why I'm doing small talk. Also, I just think it's a good way to relieve some stress, as you will see in the playlist for this series. And this is probably going to be the longest running thing on my channel. Who knows? If there's a let's play that rivals it, then I'll just have to keep uploading more of this. So, I'm not gonna keep talking about education because I already have a place for that. It's called the place I teach. I am teaching what? No, I'm not a teacher. And I don't want to be one. But, I already have a place for that. It's called the school I go to. So, it's probably the last rant about education you're going to hear from me. Unless they do something stupid, like they always do. But, anyways. I just want to talk about some stuff with Warlords of Draenor. Um, stuff that I really couldn't say in a vlog. Because, you, you know, it just kind of feels awkward talking, this, bleh, speaking your thoughts out while you're on the camera. So... I'm taking the coward method by showing you fun game footage that I suck at, and just talking. Not that they don't mind doing vlogs, it's just... Sometimes the flip doesn't work right, it... Like when I place it there, it suddenly stops recording, and stuff like that. It happens a lot, so... I've had that issue for a while now, as you can imagine. And here I show... and there I just showed my disapproval of that kill. A lot of these people got really good kills on me. I show some of their um, kill cams on this video, so if you see it, then yes, you know how hard you pwned me. <laughs> Just goes to show you how much I suck at Call of Duty. I, I think I'm at the disadvantage here because I'm. I just. I just started playing this after a very long time of not doing so. Mainly because the multiplayer isn't that active. And since some of the campaign sucks for some Call of Duty games, I only play it for the multiplayer sometimes. Because the story can be good. Some of the characters you can really hold on to, like um, Price and stuff like that. But... The problem is that not a lot of the story is gripping, and some of it doesn't make any sense at all. But, I guess it can be fun for some people. I don't know, personally. If that's what you're into, then fine. Oh, by the way, with these um 30-minute things I'm doing, small talk, um, it's usually going to be around 30 minutes and 7 or 6 seconds, because... That's the time I like. Ooh, I like that one kill. Now, I don't know what I was doing here. Sometimes I like to lure people out. And get off the gun and then wait. And, yeah, I just go crazy for no reason. But, I, I, yeah, I do that. I go off the gun and I wait by some other random part of the building. And sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. And this guy got a crazy shot off on me. I don't know if I get it. I don't know if I keep the kill cam or not. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that was a good one. I think that was a crotch shot, though. Low blow, man. Not cool. But, it's mostly me to blame because I tried, I thought I could try aiming with a shotgun. And, no less an M1897 trench gun. Which are hell to reload sometimes because it's hand loaded with um, slugs. 
So you can imagine it'd be pretty slow to reload in multiplayer. As it beats um, World at War's M1897 trench gun reloading speed. Somewhat. I tried sniping that dude with a pistol, it didn't work. I do hit him some pretty good times though. Ah, and he got another crotch. They always aim for the crotch. It's like, I don't know why. I snipe too, and sometimes I accidentally hit there. So, most of the time I try for body shots and maybe um, headshots. Sniping really isn't that hard when you narrow it down, but if you try to make it more complicated for yourself, like quick scoping or trying to be all fancy with your kills, then that's when sniping truly becomes a uh, quote unquote an art. I'm talking about like Call of Duty. Real life sniping, it takes a lot of skill and a lot of practice, but I usually snipe in this game realistically, like you would actually use a sniper rifle, staying still, maintaining your breath aiming and shooting normally but I'm not I don't have a huge gripe against quick scopers and I like some of the montages but montages get old after a while especially if you don't have any new content up for your montages if you don't keep up with it that's why I like to look up some knife kill montages those take skill those take skill to pull off because, think about it, you're limited by not using a gun. You have to run up to the enemy and stab him. He's not obligated to wait for you to get to him without shooting you. So, that happens. And it's even difficult trying to get it close to them sometimes. I don't know how that one missed. The reticle was right on him when it was that last shot, so... The slugs must have spread to every part of the wall besides him. I don't know. Anyways. It, it just takes some more skill with going, running around knifing than real it is for um, shooting because you have to be fast. And if you stop for a second and look around, you're dead. Because either a sniper or a submachine gunner or a shotgun gunner will uh, wipe the floor with you. Anyways. Some other stuff I want. I'm just like. Talk about a lot of stuff. Shoot the crap with you guys. Um, I don't really plan on doing YouTube for a job. For a few reasons. Um, one of those reasons is I'm not famous enough to do that. I don't get noticed enough, and I really don't mind. If I did, I'd probably consider it, but I don't know. It feels like monetization is just kind of a cheap way to get money. But, it's money, so if I have to do that, I will. But that's only if people start noticing my channel. And look, and um, sadly, people probably won't do that since I don't do a lot of stuff that the, some of the famous Let's Players and YouTubers do. Which I don't really mind, because I could probably never um, compare to the amount of subscribers they have. Like, seriously, PewDiePie only, almost has like 30 million subscribers. He probably already has 30 million, who knows? Probably over that already. It's crazy. Yeah, it's very crazy. It's kind of annoying too, but whatever. I'm not jealous. I'm not. <laughs> but anyways, I like some stuff that the YouTube, some YouTubers are doing, and I say YouTubers as in like the job of working, like doing a YouTube. A channel and getting monetization for it, like it basically becoming your 24/7 job. Because um, I remember a quote from Ken during one of his Cinematos Ken from one of his videos. Um, I think it was him on depression and stuff on YouTube. That YouTube is not a nine-to-five job. You don't you don't rest and be like, oh, I'm not gonna think about YouTube today. No, you it's a 24/7 thing you can't you can't stop thinking about it it's your job but and you, and I think I can agree with what Jack Septer guy thinks of it like you are the boss like you now for some reason this guy wanted me to play call of duty with him he's probably challenging me but yeah I go nope I'm going to keep running around with my pistol mind my own business in world war 2 France yeah some of the maps in this game are 
mostly French. And I don't really have a problem with it. Kitty, go away, please. Sorry. One of the cats I probably haven't shown on my um, YouTube pet series is um, trying to climb up on stuff. This cat in particular likes to climb behind my monitor. And it's pretty annoying. And I got sick with the 1897. And uh, I get some kills that I'm like, wow, I got those. It's crazy. Because I suck at this game. Most of the kills I get are luck. Or people stupid enough to get in front of me and not shoot back when I have like a shotgun in my hands. So. And there's a lot of idiots in Call of Duty, trust me. But a lot of them people know what they're doing. And that's when it gets fun. So, this is what talking alone sort of feels like to me. So you guys are technically getting um, a glimpse of what it feels like, uh, what it looks like, or what it sounds like for me to talk to myself. Uh, I think I heard some kid talking. Oh, what the hell was it? Uh, I don't know. Um kind of sucks for um the only thing that sucks about junior year for me right now is um well one minor thing I don't get to see my friends as much anymore cuz we pick different electives and stuff like that but the well, other problem is um I have a different lunch period they then did <laughs> But I have a different lunch period than they do, or some of my friends. But I only see two friends of the group we had in, like, sophomore year. And, um, sophomore year we had more people, but in, um, this year it's just a fewer amount of people. And that kind of saddens me a little bit, but I can keep in touch with most of my friends anyways, because I either have their email address or their gamer tag on Xbox. So, yeah. I don't have to worry about it too much. Now 17 minutes in. Uh, I usually, I will make these, like, unless I have copyright issues, I will make these about 30 minutes. I'm saying that too much, sorry. But, yeah. So, about some stuff for Warlords of Draenor. I'm definitely liking what they're doing. Like I said before, I love the garrison system that they're doing. And I'm not trying to sound like a die-hard WoW fan, because I'm not. I am a WoW fan, and I played WoW because I enjoy it. But, I won't preach it. I'll just say why I enjoy some aspects of it and see what other people think. But that's like what they're doing. Seems like they're trying to change themselves up after um, the failure of Cataclysm and the semi failure of um, Miss Pandaria because it was a semi failure. It wasn't too bad, it was a little bit better than Cataclysm, in my opinion, but it could have done a lot better as a game, as an expansion. Well, the Warcraft itself could have done a lot better as a game, but it isn't that bad of a game. So, that's what I think. I like the way the um, models look for the Warlords that you see in the game, like Gul'dan, although I think his walk animation is a bit different than some of the other works. I'm not sure, but I don't care really. Been a while since I had some popcorn. Now it's kind of interesting seeing your own game footage. Because I'm watching my game footage as I'm talking to you guys, and I die for the dumb decision I made of playing this game mute. Although, it plays the sound when you listen to your recording because it's the internal game sound and what goes on in the game, not what you set up and like for the TV, so. Alright, what else go talk about? Yeah. 
<laughs> I can't hear that kid talking. Surprise! Yeah, I completely missed that for some reason. But anyways, um, I wanted to know in the comments what your favorite anime is. Don't ask why I asked. I just, I, I'm just curious. Yeah, I, I don't really have a specific reason for asking. See, that was pure luck. He wasn't even looking. So, um, I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just curious what you think is your, or what you know is your top ten favorite or top favorite anime of all. And I hope I don't get a lot of, if you guys do comment on this, which I don't see why you would, but if you do comment on this video, I hope I don't see a lot of Shijo no Kyojin or um, Attack on Titan or um, Sword Art Online. Although I really don't mind Sword Art, it's actually a pretty good anime in my opinion. I'm hearing a lot of stuff about the second season sucking. And I don't want to completely deny rumors, but I don't want to completely confirm that either. So, I'll have to watch it, second season, see how it's doing, and if it sucks, then, yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of flustered after that kill and I shoot a shotgun in anger. But, yeah, sometimes in this game I get really lucky, as said a million times, so I'm not going to say it again. Um, I don't know why, but ever since I played World of Warcraft, I wanted to write a book. I really don't know. Um, I already have a few ideas for what's going to be in the book. It's going to be fiction. I know it's going to be that. It's going to be... It's going to have tribes in it, but they're not really that kind of tribes. They're based off of... Um, certain kingdoms in, in history, like um, the Romans, the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Greek, um, some Native American tribes, stuff like that. But it's going to be set in a different world in sort of a fantasy type setting. And each tribe has their own element, like water, fire, earth, air, and air sometimes incorporates lightning. So, that's how it works for me, usually. And, I've already come up with the main character, the plot, stuff like that. The plot is what I'm worried about, though. Some people might not like the plot, because it involves... Uh, okay, a major spoiler here. It involves aliens, I'm not going to say how they're involved, though. Yet. Not on my channel, at least, because I want to save it for the readers. And, I don't know what kind of feedback I'm going to get on it, but I'm going to try to refine my writing techniques to make sure that I don't suck at absolutely at doing this. Yeah. So, I'll do my best on this book. If it fails, I'll just try again. I don't intend on giving up on what I want to accomplish in life, which is at least writing one book. And if it works out, trying to write a series. That's what I want to do, and that's truly what I want to accomplish. So, I'm just wondering, what do you want to accomplish? Like, for the people who are graduating college or high school, what do you want to accomplish in life? What do you want to do for a living? Whether it be author, being an author, or... Or a professional video gamer or something, or a hot dog, or a dude in a hot dog suit outside of a, a fancy restaurant, or a dentist, or, or whatever, whatever you want to do, just tell me and why, if you can. This adds on to the, um, what's your favorite anime question, as in, it's just another question I'm asking because I'm curious, because I'm just, I'm not... I'm interested in what others think of stuff I'm doing on this channel. But I don't get a whole lot of feedback, so it's hard to um, know what I'm doing wrong, know what I'm doing right, and what to stick with. I don't know how I got a headshot with a shotgun, but that was awesome. Um, I don't really plan on changing that much, but of course my voice is probably going to get deeper and deeper and deeper.
as time progresses. But I'll still be the same old knight that you guys see on the channel. And I'm not gonna let money change me if I get that involved on YouTube, which I really don't plan on doing unless Yeah, yeah, you already know, I already said it before. And uh, a few minutes ago. So sometimes I am a different type of thinker. Like, sometimes I'm an abstract thinker, or I'm really philosophical at some point, I don't know why. I guess it's just because I'm bored. Um, having nothing to do leaves you with plenty of time to think, and you start forming ideas and stuff. That's probably how I came up with the idea for the book. Because, your brain, my brain's like, alright, this is boring, what can I do to, to stop boring? Oh, maybe I could wonder about this thing, or this thing, or this thing, or this thing, or this thing, because, it, it, because my brain constantly shows me images of things I've watched, and it won't stop. <laughs> I think I might become crazy, but I'm not too crazy. I just let this guy kill me for some reason, I don't know why. But, <laughs> um... I don't know, it's just um, boredom and stuff like that. So. Yeah. yeah, I don't have a lot to talk about. I, I was planning, I, I said to myself a while ago that I'm going to need to look up some stuff, probably on the news or something, pleasant stuff, not like the stuff I've been hearing on the news about um, Ebola and stuff like that. Um, ISIS. I don't, I don't want to talk about that stuff on my channel. This is a peaceful environment. I don't want to bring any of that stuff up that's uncomfortable or controversial. Unless I find it funny. Which is, like, usually funny stuff anyways, not, not like, murder or something. I, I'm trying to be funny here, not a psychopath. <laughs> so. This is gonna be fun from time to time. I'm planning on making this a long series anyways. So. recording. Now I'm just paying attention to the minutes. Don't mind me. Don't mind blow me. I didn't do nothing. Oh, didn't. <laughs> hmm. So I hear from the now here's one piece of news I get to talk about. Um the farmer's almanac um has a eighty percent over eighty percent um accuracy and apparently one of those things that the Falmer, Falmer, no, not the Falmer's Almanac, the Farmer's Almanac. Um, the Farmer's Almanac has a prediction that's usually correct, that if you thought last winter was cold, whew, guess what it's going to be for this winter? Colder, which is exactly what we need. Colder winters. Because usually, I learned this from an old lady, usually if we have longer or mild summers, we have typically colder winters. But if we have very hot summers, we usually have very mild winters, like it was for freshman year for me. And I think a little bit of sophomore, no, not sophomore year, it was pretty cold. Especially since I just witnessed the coldest day in history, which was, um... Coldest, coldest day in like 30 years, I think. So, that must have been a nightmare. I think that despite everything going on, like with this, for some reason I'm just waiting on to play a game and I realize I'm running out of time, so I won't, probably won't be able to. And I'm just, I'm just happy. Because despite everything we're going on, some people are lucky to be born at this time. This time of curiosity, this time of, um, like, is the sky really the limit or is there more? Like, space, the last frontier. Although I argued in a comment section that truly, space is not the last frontier. The internet is. Think about it. 
it's basically the Wild West. People saying whatever they want and stuff like that, and making fun of people, and trolling. But, uh, with stuff we have to deal with. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Small Talk. I'll be seeing you next time.